Ladies and gentlemen, KOK Hero Series 2014, live on Fightbox. Fight number six, weight division 65 kilogram. At the blue corner, fighter from Moldova, Stanislav Relica. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK Hero Series 2014, live on Fightbox. Fight number six, weight division 65 kilogram. At the blue corner, fighter from Moldova. Stanislav Relica. So in the ring, in the blue corner now, representing Moldova, Stanislav Renita. This will be the King of Kings World Grand Prix reserve fight, which we're having later in the second half of the show. So one of these two, if there's any injuries later on in this World Grand Prix, one of these two might get a chance to go into that final. And entering the ring there, and Marius Garante. Fighting for the blue corner, 22 years old, 166 centimeter, 65 kilogram, one, five fights, the loose only one, champion of Galileo 2010 and 2012, fighter representing Roy Mike G. So the last fight in this first half of the show, King of Kings in association with FEA, we have this, which is the reserve fight for the under 65 kilogram World Grand Prix King of Kings series championship. Representing the blue corner, Stanislav Ranita versus Marius Grante from Romania. Round one. So Stanislav there in the blue gloves, white shorts trimmed with black and multicolors, badges, etc. Maya Muay Thai. Both fighters in the orthodox left guard, left stance. Both fighters 65 kilograms. Same age, same height, same weight. 
Marius, age 23, Stanislav, age 22, so absolutely perfect on paper. Similar records, both holding a multitude of titles. And a great weight division because very fast and furious, I believe, the 65 kilo division. Fast and exciting. Not saying all the other weight divisions aren't. Just saying this one is especially a very active divi division as well. So Stanislav, we mentioned blue corner, blue gloves. And Marius from Romania, the red corner, red gloves, blue shorts trimmed with red and white. Watched Stanislav fight many times on King of Kings. Very energetic, very technical fighter. Always comes to the table, or to the ring, should we say, with a full gun loaded full of bullets. Lots of technique. Fighters looking very determined. Nice knee there coming from Marius. Nice stiff jab from Marius. Stanislav going in with a nice front kick to the midsection. Takes a left body kick. Nice inside low kick from Stanislav. Looking the body and the head as well. Looking the three levels. That's low, middle and high. And you three ranges as well, which is close, medium, and long. Close being the just what, grab and knee. We're going to do one of, by the way. And sharp punches like the uppercut. And you've got medium, which is the long knee, and the straight punches of distance. And then obviously you've got the uh, furthest distance, which is the kicking range. Nice little combo being thrown there from Stanislav, but great guarding there from. Marius showing his good. Remember, it's all about offence, but without a defence, it doesn't work quite as well. Well, we had a little taster of both fighters. They both give a great account of themselves. Not too much daylight between the two of them, in my opinion. Again, I'm busy commentating. I'm looking at the nice things that the ring has to offer. But I've already spoken for, I've got a lovely lady in England. Hayley, Katrina. Uh, and she's watching this, hello from me. And everybody else from Sunny Bolton by the sea, and from Bolton Thai Boxing Club, and anybody in the UK. United Kingdom, that's England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales, and Scotland still remain, I've just been told, in the United Kingdom, and that's on a personal note, and I've got a lot of Scottish friends, I think it's a good idea, but that's just my opinion. Opinions are what everybody's got. Doesn't mean anything, does it? <laughs> the truth and a fact is, is just that, an opinion is not always. Enough Sandy philosophy and Sandyisms. Let's talk about the action, which is why we're here in this fabulous stadium with FEA and King of Kings. The fight promotion to watch for. 2014's been an amazing in the fifth year running. Still got four more shows to go. Next one being in the amazing new stadium, Ergo Arena in Gdansk in Poland. We've got to be there as well. That's on the 17th of October for the next King of Kings shows. Which will be a heavyweight tournament as well. So that's the big boys, the big guns. We've seen a few heavyweights tonight. But it's about these guys and the lightweight, super lightweight division. It's known in uh, Thai boxing circles. Or light welter, it could be known as as well, between Thai boxing and boxing. But it's not about those two disciplines, it's about this King of Kings style kickboxing rules. Punches, kicks are allowed. Knees are allowed, including one grab, one knee, what you just witnessed, as I said it. Good timing, thank you very much. 
Norris as he displayed that. Stanislav in front of him from Moldova. Marius from Romania. Good push kick there to the face. A clean fight between these two young gentlemen as well, it must be said. As you know, we've hardly seen the referee. The referees are great on King of Kings because they really know how to do the work. They leave the fights to do the business. They only step in when needed, which is exactly what referees do anyway. But I must commend the referees on the King of Kings because they do really let the fighters work when they need to and they do step in between when they're not doing the uh, sticking or abiding by the rules. And they always say a sign of a good referee is the one that you don't see. That's the sign of a good sight, a good fight, sorry, as well. I mean, the fight that the fighters do the job, fight clean, fight safe, fight well, and the referee will leave you to it. Nice little hand exchange from both fighters. And it's a real game of chess between these two. Both fighters picking the shots quite well. Both fighters not only showing a great offence, which is attacking, but very good defence as well. Being able to cover up, block, avoid, slip, switch, whatever you want to call it. They both showed real effect of attack and defence. And you can probably see that as well because there's not much marking on either fighter. That shows a sign of, like I said, of good defence. Well, like, you know, it's a toughie for the judges, this, personally. Because I know they don't have draws in uh, King of Kings and kickboxing. They do have draws in all the other fighting sports. Because um, if it does go to a draw after three rounds, then it would go to an extra round. And then they have to have a decision. Nice knee there from Marius. But just a quick one of using the two hands. Nice push kick to the face as well. To the Moldovan. Big right hand in reply though from Stanislav Renita. So a touch of gloves, third and final. Well, is it third and final? Will it go to a fourth? It's difficult to say because this action here we see with King of Kings always gives us the best of the best. And you've got to see this action as it unfolds here. This, the third round, is what we want to see. Is it going to be blue? Is it going to be red? Difficult. What do you think at home if you're watching this now? How do you see this? It's real good action here. Never a dull moment on King of Kings. One of the things I've got to say is these shows are really well organized. They run absolute clockwork. And they try to do absolutely the best with the matchmaking. No one can predict the outcome of a fight. Well, you can predict it, you might not always get it right. The point is, when you put the two fighters together and then you see these fighters, what they do in the ring, obviously some nights they have a good night, some nights they have a bad night. They always say some fighters have an off night. It's not the night, even though they were meant to win on paper and everyone's all the betting odds are on them, they can still lose. A loss can come at any moment with a kick, a punch, a knee. Could end in a knockout at any moment. Well, we're in the third round. Halfway has gone. Halfway is left. Is your glass half full or is it half empty? You tell me at one and a half minutes. <laughs> well, the gum shield comes out. Good referee in there, takes time off, sends him to neutral corner, puts the gum shield back in. This has been
been an exciting fight between these two. There's been non-stop action. As always, when you see these two, I've seen them both before. See, I think I've seen Marius fight once before, and he great, gave a great account of himself. Um, Stanislav I've watched four or five times. All an action fighter. Takes a low kick. Catches him off balance. Not a knockdown, obviously, the referee knows that. Who wants it the most? 30 seconds or so remaining. This, again, is a tough one for the judges. I do not envy any judge on this fight. I can't call it. It's a tough one. Could go an extra round and then that's where everything's decided. The hammer goes down for 10 seconds. This is a tough fight, but coming forward a bit, the man from Moldova finishes strong at the end of the round. They both give each other a friendly tap. He slumps into his corner. Well, it's just Daniel Gita and Vlad Lahotnovnuk, which will, who is the uh, Moldovian Democratic Party deputy chairman, was both giving it the which way, left way, right way. You can see there the promoter in the background, Donatos, watches with intent. Now, how have you got this? Because I'm going to give that even. I keep getting these wrong, so don't listen to me. <laughs> Leave it to the judges, eh? Let's just do, let me just use my, my big fat gob and just keep doing the commentating. It's what I seem better at. Well, you might have a different opinion, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best. Remy Bonjeski. Blue Corner, Stanislav Gaita, Moldova! That was it, the stronger bit towards the end of the third. That's how it could have been called, I can see that. But it was close. And another man who makes this all possible in the ring there to provide the winning certificates and the runner-up. No losers in the ring. Mr. Dorin, Damir Dorin from FEA, Fighting and Entertainment Association president and owner. The first half of the show, ladies and gentlemen, is over. We're going to look forward to the second half.